Please join me in welcoming Lakshmi <coughs> Watson with her speech entitled Secret to Finding True Love. With her speech entitled Secret to Finding True Love, please welcome Lakshmi Watson. Would you like true love that lasts a lifetime? Contest chair, Toastmasters and fellow love seekers, come travel with me through five decades of my life and you too will find true love today. Imagine a wide tropical beach with a brilliant sunset splashed across the sky and on the soft white sand, seven of us kiddie girlfriends posing on Lilo's. It's my friend Shay's 15th birthday and her parents are treating us to a week in a way at Benthuda Beach in Sri Lanka. As the warm wind plays with our hair and clothes, we find ourselves mesmerized by a group of boys body surfing. Suddenly, dreamy-eyed Missy wants to know, what is the secret to finding true love? Some wisecrack, probably me, says, duh, you see the secret is to look really, really hot. After some mild protests, everyone agrees. That night as we dress for dinner, our dresses a little bit shorter, the necklines a bit deeper, and we're walking funny too. Though the buffet is exquisite and we walk to and fro several times, we hardly eat. I remember this because we called for room service at 2 a.m. Fast forward to when we were 21. We were on a trip to the cool high plains of Neuralia. By then we dated a few more guys, had our hearts broken, and dissed a few good guys for no good reason. One night by the fireside, as we have a few too many drinks, we wallow in the miseries of unrequited love. And the wee small hours of that morning, Molly wants to know, what is the secret to finding my one true love? Some wisecrack, probably me, says, Molly, you got to fly free for a while. Find someone who is handsome. Find someone who is fun to be with. And find someone who is good in bed. But make sure the three of them never meet. After rolling with laughter, everyone agrees. Fast forward to our thirties. Having succumbed to the pressures of society, we're all racing families, juggling housework, sick kids, and junior league sport with our career goals. Juggling the increasing need to play pretend happy family with the increasingly unsupportive, sometimes philandering husbands. Now on a Valentine's Day call, Pinky, <laughs> is sobbing. Her husband has been cheating. Some wisecrack, probably me, says, Pinky, darling, shall we come over for a breakout party? We could have, we could bring the ice creams and plenty of tissues. Everyone is in. Everyone agrees. Fast forward to our 40s. Some are still married, surprisingly. Some happily divorced. The kids are a bit older now and our faithful, furry friends by our side. Now on frequent late night WhatsApp group chats, we pine for the good guys we dissed. Facebook's talking them. Marsha wants to know. Girls, who do you think fancied me the most? Some wisecrack, probably me, 
says, Masha, our pets are the only beings that fancy us. See how they snuggle up and see how they look at us. This is the only adoration we're going to get. Everyone heartily agrees. But now we're in our 50s. On my last trip back to Colombo, the girlfriends meet up over sushi and sake. We solve the problems of the world. But we're still challenged by our partners. One is too distant, the other too controlling. One's a workaholic, the other golfaholic. Whiskey now pleads. What is the secret, Lucky? Some wisecrack, prob actually, it's always been me. Whiskey, I really don't know. But the self-love guru, Louise Hay, says if you love yourself all you can, life will mirror back that love to you. How about you? Do you feel like you need someone to complete you? Do you feel like you're not good enough just as you are? If you too would like to join our quest for true love, you can start with replacing your criticisms with kind words, acknowledging your improvements instead of your perfections and giving yourself permission to laugh, to play, to sing, and to dance. Self-love is a yearning. True love is a need. Love yourself first, and you will succeed. <laughs>